to my student advisor and I was really hungry. She offered me some nuts and that's when I realized I was eating oatmeal three times a day for a few weeks until I got paid next. I grew up low income but when I you know had my own income which currently it's four jobs but I mean I still can barely afford to like buy groceries a week. I'm actually making like 13 an hour but since I'm only working part-time it, uh, it doesn't quite add up and that's with uh, student loans and things of that nature. Obviously I'm not emaciated but if I actually uh, lifted up my shirt you could actually see my ribs so I figure I'm probably you know 10 to 15 pounds under where I should be. I remember my dad opening up the fridge door and being there's no food guess we're not eating today. That's what I do. There's no food in the fridge I'm not eating today. But, you know always being on the lookout kind of for that free food or that free meal that crown score um, for example, I habitually, whenever I do go to the grocery store, I look around the parking lot, see if somebody might have dropped some food. Might be, I don't know, a tomato or a can of this, that, or the other thing. In my mid-20s or even in my early 30s, I never would have uh, contemplated, you know, that being my reality. I don't eat junk food anymore. If anything, I buy protein powder, and if I feel hungry, I mix it up with water and cross my fingers I'm not hungry in the next four hours. You can go a little leaner. You can do like beans and rice and ramen, uh, but that's really only gonna hold out for so long. I mean, you gotta have some greens. You gotta have some high protein. Um, so, you know, I just really do the best I can. Uh, I'll go kind of heavy on the salads. I definitely think about buying organic, local. I usually buy organic, um, but I work most, most of the time for it when the farmer's market is open. Tuesday nights I'm working, Saturday mornings I'm working. It's really hard to buy local if it's not sold in the grocery store. Just. I mean, when you need food, you know, you're gonna buy it where it's available. It's kind of frustrating because, uh, I mean, obviously you gotta eat to maintain yourself. Um, and on the other hand, uh, going to the grocery store can be downright depressing. Some people might say, well, why don't you get food stamps or something like that? And the reason that I don't, uh, one would be a pride thing, but also because I was uh, foolish enough to be honest when I did apply and um, I told them that I was working going to school and they said that since I was going to school, I didn't qualify. You know, I still don't know if you could find me like at the community shop asking for food just because um, I feel like you, that's not where you find a college student going most of the time. So there's like this stigma of like, you have to have three kids and, you know, be really struggling. The reality is, is that you have a whole bunch of people that are, uh, you know, working to the best of their ability. And it really comes down to, you know, I need X amount for food. I need X amount for rent and I need X amount for bills or school as it may be. I've learned how to stretch a dollar. I've learned how to stretch a dollar. Uh, I've learned how to be more money smart, especially considering that I go to a school that's like triple the amount of public. So it's difficult to think of the choices of like what kind of education I want. But at the end of the day, I, I think it's better to have a really good education and pay a little bit more and be happier later.